Transformations of Parent Functions in 2 Minutes A parent function is any function in its simplest forms. It will have no constants or no coefficients. These are some of the most popular parent functions we'll be working with. Absolute value of x, x squared, or square root of x. A transformation of a function is a modifying of a parent function through any of these three transformations. Reflection, dilation, or translation. You'll know if a reflection occurs if there is a negative coefficient in your formula. You'll know a dilation occurs if the coefficient is a factor either greater than 1, making it more narrow or stretched, or if it's a fraction between 0 and 1, then it is wider or compressed. And finally, there are four types of translations. Those are shifts or slides, left, right, up, or down. Let's take a look at the formula that will help you know what happened. In any parent function, the a position, the h position, and the k position all tell you different things. The a position is the coefficient, and that is a dilation. If the coefficient is negative, then that transformation is a reflection. The h position is a slide left or right, and the k position is a slide up or down. Let's start with this parent function. You'll notice it has no coefficients and no constants. If we transform it, we're going to give that function a new name. Let's call it g of x. And you'll notice I've made some space for coefficients in the front, for constants in the grouping symbol, the absolute value bars, and for constants outside of the grouping symbol. If I put a negative sign here, that's a reflection. If I put a 4 here, that's a dilation. If I put a 1 fourth here, that's also a dilation, but there are different kinds. Since this 4 is greater than 1, then this is known as a stretch or a more narrow graph. If I put a 1 fourth here, that's known as a compress or a wider graph. Let's take a look. Here's our parent function, the absolute value graph. Here's with a coefficient of 4 stretched and more narrow. Here's with a coefficient of 1 fourth, compressed or more wide, and here's with a negative coefficient, reflected over the x-axis. If I put a constant inside the parentheses or a constant outside the parentheses, they perform different moves. This 4 is a translation or a shift 4 to the left, and the 7 is a shift down. Let's take a look at this on the graph. Here's our parent function, and now we have a plus 4 inside the grouping symbol, shifted left, and now we have a constant negative 7 outside the grouping symbol, down 7. Now you can have all four transformations at once. A reflection, a dilation, a shift 7 units left, and a shift 8 units down. Don't forget to review the placement of the numbers and what they perform transformations.